when somebody is saying like i'll get back to you essentially they have another objection so we shared nine objections that 99% of the sales conversations have and this one i'll get back to you all right secret number 10 oh my gosh you are amazing you finished the 10th video you're finishing the final video on this series what is that? I will get back to you. I will get back to you. If somebody says I'll get back to you, what do you do? Like, what do you say? How do you handle it? That's what we're going to talk today. So strategy about it is very simple. Find root objection and handle it. What does that mean? It means that when somebody is saying, like, I'll get back to you, essentially they have another objection. So we shared nine objections. Pretty much these are the nine objections that 99% of the sales conversations have. And this one, I'll get back to you. It's not even an objection. It's kind of, a, I'll get back to you. They just want to push you. They just want to like, you know, push you out. Okay. Like, you know, I, we, we went to this airline the other day. I was flying and then the one lady was like, okay, okay, okay. Is that everything? Is that everything? Do you have any question? It basically means get the hell out of here, right? And and they, don't, they think that we don't understand that, but I clearly understood that. I'm not going to complain about it. Humans are different. So essentially, uh, I will get back to you. It's basically, can you just leave? Can you just leave? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Can you please leave? I don't want to deal with you. Don't call me. Like, you know, please leave. That's what it is, right? So how do you handle that? You handle it by finding a root objection. What is a root objection? They don't, they're not even sharing their objection with you. So I'll get back to you. It's not a real objection. It's just them buying time or just, just nicely getting rid of you. That's what it is. It's just nicely getting rid of you. Nicely getting rid of you, right? That's what they're doing. So ask question to understand the root objection and handle it. That's the action there. Find out like what is the root objection and handle it. So how do you find the root objection? You will be like, you could say the same thing as I shared with you. People who say, here's the thing, um, Susie. Susie, you said that you will get back to me, but here's the reality. You will not get back to me. Statistically, because I work with thousands of people out there to understand that you will not get back to me. It's highly likely you will not get back to me, which is fine with me. As long as you don't want this. If you don't want this, this is perfectly fine. I just wanted you to know that it's highly likely you're not going to get back to me. Because people who say they will get back to me, generally, they don't. It's not because of me. It's because they get busy. They have so many things to do. They have a, they're running a business. They have a career. They have... Like they have a work life, they have a really important decisions to make. And that this will, you'll be interested in two days after three days. Say, oh, maybe no, this is not something that I want to do. And then you would figure out a way to get out of this. Is that what you want? If that's what you want, it's fine. But I would recommend, I mean, is that what you want? Then in that case, you could decide that right now. And then let's conclude it. But if you think that you are interested in it, which I, which you, that's what you told me. You said you are interested in it. And if you want to move forward with this, then let's figure out. Let me tell, tell me exactly what is going on. What is your concern? What's your real concern? What, what is your real question? Then they will be telling you, oh, I need to talk to my wife. I get back to you because I need to talk to my husband. I need to talk to my partner before I decide. Got it. Then you go to the next objection and handle. Or they'll be like, oh, the, the price is too much. I cannot, uh, I cannot afford, I don't have budget for this. Now it goes to one of these nine objections, universal nine objections. So, and from these nine objections, you know how to handle that, exactly how to handle that. So we already trained you really good on how to do that. So do that. So figure out a way to get them to an actual objection. Be blunt about it, be truthful about it. Don't be like, oh, uh, I mean, anybody who says I will get back to you, I'm so mad at them because they never get back to me. I'm so mad at you for saying that. Don't do that either, right? So you just tell them, like, let's be honest about it. Let's be honest about it. Maybe you don't want you don't want this. You just want to get rid of me. That's what you're trying to do. And if that's the case, that's fine. You know, that's perfectly fine. You don't need to do that. And they are like, yeah, I was trying to get rid of you. Cool. Thanks, brother. I appreciate your <laughs> I appreciate your confidence in telling me the truth. That's fine. You don't need to have that sale because they're just wasting your time. They're wasting their time. You are pretending to be caring and they are pretending to be caring for you. And then you're wasting three months instead you could move on to the next prospect. And let's be honest with each other in that level. Okay. So do a live conversation with yes 
don't leave a sales conversation. So here is the thing that is really, really important. When you are in a sales conversation, do not leave a conversation until they say yes or no or continuity. So yes, you know what it is. Yes, I want to move forward. No, I don't want to move forward. Third one is continuity. Continuity is let's get on a call on Thursday, four o'clock and conclude this decision, right? Right, so you, I, I need some time to think about it. Okay, sure. What can we think about it? Can we think about it together? And then we think about it. I still need to like, you know, I, I just need to think overnight. Sounds good. How about next, uh, how about tomorrow I'm not free. How about Wednesday morning at 7 p.m. or 9.30, 9.30 a.m. 7th morning at 9, 7, 9 p.m. That's funny. 7 day, Wednesday morning at 9.30 a.m. Let's get on a call. And then, uh, and you tell me if you still want to do it and let's move forward with that and be prepared. And if you have any question, I'll be happy to answer them as well. So you get them to one of the nine objections that I talked about and use the 10 objections. The, the, I'll get back to you. They might say in so many different ways, but essentially it's all outside of the scope. It's outside of the, you know, you know like outside of the chartered, uh, this is like outside of the chartered territory, which means that not a normal objection. Anything outside of this nine, bring them to one of these nine objections and handle it. That's how you handle it, right? Anything, any other conversation, anything that people say, basically this is what they are saying. One of these nine things, that's what they're saying. I haven't seen any other objection that is put forward by, by prospects. And if you find something, put that in the chat. We'll address that too. I hope not, but, but it's fine. If there is something, let's go ahead and record a video on that, discuss that. But anything other than nine, we just get back to you or anything else, you bring them to one of those nine objections and then help them to overcome that. But understand that objections are basically questions. They have a question. They don't have the certainty. They don't have the clarity to move forward until they get this answer specifically for them so that they know that it's going to work for them. They don't need to be ashamed in front of a partner or a wife or a husband or something, or they don't need to feel that they didn't, they didn't decide without having enough information. And they, didn't, they, they don't know whether to find the budget or not. These are all legitimate, serious questions that they have. So help them answer that. Move your business to the next level. Scale your business. Grow your business. I look forward to seeing your business even more successful wherever you are in the world. I look forward to connecting with you someday. I look forward to seeing you in one of four, online, offline, live, physical, wherever, whatever events. And I'll see you in the next series. I'll talk to you soon.